Another action packed edition of sports tonight has just kicked off from Channels TV Sports Center in Lagos, Nigeria. Glad to have you join us to talk sports. I'm Austin Okonakwa, and a lot is going down in our world of sports. In Nigeria, our football fans are counting down to that crucial match between uh, the Super Eagles of Nigeria and the Chi Polo Polo of Zambia. It's as crucial as a football match can get because the, the team that will win that match uh, will take pole position towards qualifying for the 2018 FIFA World Cup in Russia. We have our eyes firmly fixed on that one. We'll talk about it on the show tonight. Also on the show, uh, I see I see basketball. Educate Ogwaja uh, seems to doing so much for basketball in Nigeria. Uh, what is it doing? Work with us. We'll tell you. There's also a uh, beach soccer. Uh, there's athletics big time on the program tonight. Nigeria's fastest man, Sheye Ogunlewe, is standing by. He's not just come to, he's not gonna, just going to come and talk about what it means to run fast. He's talking about ways we can develop athletics in the country, particularly going back to the basics, the grassroots. Sheye will be talking with us tonight on the program. Also on the show, uh, we will take a look at the Copa Lagos, the 2017 Copa Lagos, what's, what's in it for uh, this year? And of course, that big news that came out, uh, the organizing committee for the ITO Cup, they have disqualified Abia Angels. What did they do? They said they fielded a player that was ineligible uh, in that match against Confluence Queens, the second leg. So now uh, it's Confluence Queens that will advance to the semifinals to take on Ebon Angels. Abia Angels, they said, no, no, it's so wrong. They're talking about it. I will listen to them tonight on the program. Let's get you into everything that I'll be doing on the show. It's a racy, pacey, action packed sort of sport. So let's do this one with speed so we can meet up. Shouldn't we do it with speed? Let's do it because there's also the Europa uh, League going on uh, tonight also. Let's bring you into the mix. You can talk to us on feedback mechanisms. They are still the same on Twitter, channels underscore sports, Facebook channels. I think sports you can also send us an email, sports tonight at channelstudy.com. Because there's so much to talk about and so much to catch up with. All our top stories uh, can be found on our website. It's channelstv.com and on YouTube for slash channels web. You can log on to m.channelstv.com to download the Channels TV app for your iPad, your iPhone, your Blackberry, your iOS, your Windows phones, and your Android phones. Just log on to m.channelstv.com, uh, follow the instructions, download the app. A part of everything that will be going down tonight on the program. Let's get into the show now. Play some basketball. We're athletes representative in the Nigeria Basketball Federation, EJK Ugwaja. EJK has been there, done that with basketball. And um, for him, he wants it to get better. That's him right there. Uh, he met with uh, basketballers in the league system uh, in the country. And what was top notch on the agenda? Players' welfare. It says we need to package our basketball in a way that issues uh, surrounding players' welfare will be a forgotten one. And I think that was very, very important. Just look at the way they're, they're listening to EJK right there. It was a show of love. Uh, they brainstormed. They put a lot of things together. Uh, the female players were also there. They were encouraged to speak up and, start and state their challenges as regards what the lack of feel uh, the female league system needs to improve on. As players from the champions of the female league, First Bank, let's talk about First Bank, uh, were present and all they had to say uh, were songs of uh, praises for, of course, the the MBBF and all it has achieved, particularly um, ensuring that the D Tigress won the Afro Basket Championships. Very, very important what AGK is doing. Look, uh, it's all about getting a blend, creating a building a synergy, understanding what the other person is feeling. And AGK says, look, uh, the wages of players must be paid. And it must be prompt. Yeah, because, I mean, you've gone out there, you've played basketball, uh, you've given your part. Welfare should be top-notch. And that's what EJK is trying to do with the player. So that's a good one. Uh, some good level of enlightenment in that one. Um, basketball seems to be on the rise. And all that the MBBF need to do is to sustain the momentum, and I think I agree with that one right there. Let's get on with the show now. Talk about the 2017 Copa Lagos Beach uh, Soccer Championship. Uh, the annual event um, will take place on December the 8th. So that's it right there. You know now, December the 8th, and will run through the 11th at the Eco Atlantic in Lagos. Host country, Nigeria, Lebanon, and the Netherlands have been confirmed to feature at the tournament. The organizer said uh, a club format is being proposed and Sporting Lisbon of Portugal, Lazio of Italy, Arsenal of England and a selected side from the Nigeria Professional Football League will also feature at the championship. 
Switzerland defeated Nigeria 8 3 in the 2016 edition to Emerge Champions. Talk about um, developing beach soccer in the country. Not as big as we want it to be, but that man right there, um, Sam Adamu, is doing all he can uh, to ensure that the Copa Lagos uh, gets to a level where it becomes admirable, gains some following, and of course, operates with international standards. So we're looking forward to that one. Keep it down in your day, just in case you just want to go to uh, the beach side, you know, relax, watch some beach soccer. Uh, it, it, it promises to be a nice one. December the 8th, put it down. It should get us talking. We'll still stay with beach soccer, but this time, uh, the Super Sun Eagles. What's going on with them? The head coach of, the, of Nigeria's beach soccer national team, Aldo Ejo, has, has welcomed the idea behind the Copa Lagos. Of course, that's the only way we can develop uh, beach soccer in the country. Uh, he said that the tournament has given his team an opportunity to prepare for major continental and international events. He revealed that fresh players will be discovered after the tournament and that's very very important right there talk about uh Aldo Ejo has been there done that with pitch soccer and he's saying look this is very very important let's listen to him when we come back let's do so much more don't go anywhere uh, the Copa Lagos is just like a training before a match mm. it always keep us on before Cup of Nation qualifier and uh, you see it's a competition at the end of the year that we normally play mm. and uh, we don't play friendly matches uh, we don't go for uh, some competition for, for three, four, five years back now. But Copa Lagos is a kind of a competition that every year we must do. So I think I've learned a lot because it exposed my players. It makes me get some players, like from Pepsi, uh, uh, Beach Soccer of Eniba, Kano Pillars and others. You know, most of my players are aging and uh, we need replacement. So you will see different faces in this Copa Lagos coming up by... November, by December, 8 to 10, you see a new face coming up.